So Monroe and Associates, Monroe Live, the YouTube, you've, you've heard of them. I was invited to their Cybertruck teardown event where in the middle of their workshop, they had the Cybertruck in all its glory, torn to shreds, parts and pieces everywhere, boxes full of stuff, computer boards, the harnesses dangling out of the chassis. It was absolutely phenomenal. But part of this whole experience was to see how Monroe works, like what they do, and kind of a walk through the, a little bit of their history and the things that they do best. And so now that I've soaked in a good sunburn and a lot of information, here's a good look at what Monroe and Associates does. So with this whole experience, the, the main thing that they wanted to show everyone was their ability to take existing designs and make them better, make them more efficient, make them lighter, make them easier to manufacture. And what they've done over the past, I don't even know how many years, decades, um, is they, they've taken all of these different products from companies who are just racing to get them out into the market and kind of taking, taking a second look at it. They are the, the second opinion on these engineers around the world. So automotive, aerospace, industrial, defense contracting, you name it, manufacturing wise, and they've probably done it. One of their first examples was a golf cart. And this golf cart, you've probably heard of the brand, they basically took this design from a close to failing company and turned the whole thing around and made this golf cart brand into one of the top in the country, top in the world maybe. They integrated things like the water drain from the roof, the gutter system, into the actual structure of the golf cart. Who thinks of that stuff? And that was one of their first projects where they just took that mentality, they took all of the original designs, the concepts, they tore this thing down and just turned that into something better. They recommended new manufacturing processes. They gave new material recommendations. They oversaw the manufacturing process. They installed new pieces of machinery with that other company. And now they just do that across the board for OEMs and manufacturers and automotive companies and defense manufacturers across the board. So in this tour, they started with this golf cart and moved their way into the vehicles that they've torn down. And nowadays we look at all of their YouTube content of these torn down vehicles like it's something novel, something new. They've been doing this for decades. They purchased their very first vehicle for, that was like self-funded, not part of a contract 10 years ago in 2014. And this car was a BMW and they tore the whole thing down. It was kind of a newer car, a newer uh, way of building cars that BMW was doing. And they generated a whole report on this car. This whole report basically went through all of the, the cost analysis and the manufacturing techniques. And then they just resold that document, that stack of papers to other companies who also wanted to know the same thing. They were the people who were tearing down this car and publishing what they found. They took that and then rolled that into a bunch more vehicles. You know, they were already doing this on a contract basis where they were given a car, you know, maybe Ford gave them a, a Ford Fiesta, I don't know. They gave them a Ford Fiesta and said, how can we make this better? Monroe took it, they tore it down and gave them recommendations. But now they were actually going through and buying the car, private party from a dealership and just scrapping it and documenting everything. And so what happened was they started publishing some of their YouTube videos in the 2018, 2019 range about this stuff and they caught fire, especially when they started talking about EVs when Tesla hit the scene with the Model 3. So they're traditionally a automotive or more manufacturing analysis company, but they actually turned into kind of a media company through this YouTube publication process. So in this whole walkthrough, you know, we went from, again, a golf cart to the BMW to a Model S to a Model 3 to a model, bunch of Model Ys and a bunch of other miscellaneous vehicles sprinkled in there. But what they did was in their, in their work shop, in their warehouse, whatever you want to call it, they had all of the parts 
on hand, sitting there on tables, labeled with scans and documents and features all alongside them. There was one station where they had an electric motor, I'm guessing it was a drivetrain unit from some Rivian Tesla Ford, who knows, that was just spinning constantly. So I, it's my guess, I didn't ask, I did not see if this was legit or not, but I'm guessing that they do testing on longevity for some of these things. Uh, but they had all of the, the transmission gears from certain vehicle models to the, the drivetrain units to door handles and window panes just spread out everywhere. And that was a really interesting experience. All of the terminology was just straight over my head, but I was a sponge soaking in as much information as I possibly could. Uh, everything from the materials to the corrosion to, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. When they were comparing the Model 3 to the Model Y, they were talking about how they took, you know, the rear casting that was 140 parts and Tesla turned that into two. That two parts. Most automotive manufacturers take months, years to develop brand new platforms and manufacturing techniques, but Tesla can do it in a matter of weeks. Part of the next big thing that they showed us was their comparisons of different EVs and what makes them so interesting. Not always so great, but just unique and interesting. So in a whole lineup, they had a Ford F-150 Lightning, they had the Tesla Model Y, they had a, a Hyundai I Ioniq 5, they had a Rivian R1T, they had a Mustang Mach-E, a bunch of stuff. And then the Cybertruck. They had the Cybertruck at the very end of that line. And each one of them, they, they walked through. This is the, the body on the chassis, or this is the unibody with the molding, and this is the material that it was made out of. And the thing that really stuck out to me was how Rivian actually was a mesh of all of these new and traditional ideas all put together. The F-150 Lightning is a traditional truck for the most part, just with a battery in the middle. You know, they have a uh, the, the frame, and then the body sits on the frame. It's a body on frame truck. The Rivian also has a frame with a body on top of it, but technically speaking, the body was built into the frame. So it had a frame structure, but it also had the whole body on top of it. So not only does Monroe and Associates tear down these vehicles and write these reports on them, but they're also comparing them. They're looking at certain technologies and comparing them to the newer ones or different ones. So if a, if a client comes to them and says, hey, I'm trying to improve this one product, they can point to something they have on their shop floor and go, well, you need to do this. Of course, here it is. Here, here, here's the measurements, here's the cost analysis. Here is everything that goes into this car. Here's the, you know, the, the manufacturing technique of the laser on the robot that welded this one piece that your company is not actually doing. And I think that is genuinely commendable. So that's kind of a look at their bread and butter, at least right now, uh, and a lot of what they publish on their YouTube channel as well. There was also a few other fun things. Uh, there was a poster at one point that was just, a, it was like a meme, but it was like a, a four by six flag on their wall with Sandy on it. I really liked that one. Then we got to the Cybertruck teardown, and this is where, this is what I was here for. This event had seven Cybertrucks in attendance, if you count the one that was torn down on the lift. But in the Cybertruck section, they it was an entire section of their warehouse, of their shop, whatever whatever you want to call it, um, where the Cybertruck's body, the skeleton, it's not quite an exoskeleton, I can talk about, talk about more of that in the next video if you want me to. The skeleton was up on the hoist and you could kind of walk up to it and look at, stick your head inside of it and look at all the connectors and, you know, it was, it was more or less hand, you could touch whatever you want. They they had the ethernet cable, the, the core ethernet cable that runs the length of the truck. And then just like every other vehicle in, in their workshop, they had all of the Cybertruck parts laid out. They had the HVAC box, which it, it's, it's, it's literally a box, but they also had the, the drivetrain gears and all of the actuators and the door panels with the windows attached. And they have the different suspension components all laid out, measured, everything. And then they also had boxes of all of the trim pieces and all the plastic like fenders and protective panels. So standing there, it was pretty obvious at times to look at the truck and just point to something and go, yeah, I saw that back down the row on the F-150 Lightning, or I saw that on the Model Y out front. Amazing. 
absolutely amazing. But as much as I want to gush about the Cybertruck, I'm here for Monroe and Associates. I'm not here for the truck. I guess I, I was there for the truck, but you know, Monroe's the cherry on top. So that's just a quick look at things that Monroe and Associates does. You know, they, they publish a lot of their stuff on, on YouTube. Go check them out. It's worth it. You know, their explanations and everything that they publish is really refined and kind of brought down to a level that anyone can understand. But my name is Troy Mikoff. I'm also known as the Cybertruck Guy. Follow me on X, hit subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next one.